Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Anderilla. Anderilla is a game about being a neat hikikomori, who somehow ends up in a twisted love triangle with two girls. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful, kind girl named Cinderella. And though she was more beautiful, more kind, more precious, more cheerful, and totally awesome than anyone else, it never did her any good. Her sisters worked her to the bone every day. She was unable to go to the ball, unable to meet her prince and murder him. All she could do was clean. A princess covered in cinders. Due to the nature of this kind of game, I'm pretty much just going to be reading my own dialogue and uh, just commentating over it rather than reading all their lines. Yeah, nice to see you also. I have no idea who you are. I really don't know, because I have no idea who you are. I'm sorry. I just came to the mall to buy some anime DVDs, even though people don't do that anymore, really. Um... It's going a little too fast. No? Here, I'll cast a spell. It's called going away, you crazy woman. That was a bad answer, wasn't it? Oh, I'm having terrible dreams where I keep making terrible decisions and answering people the wrong way. I don't want to wake up. Who are you people? What are you doing in my house? Good morning to you also. But seriously, what are you doing in my house? I dreamed I was in a video game. Video games are terrible, so it was a nightmare. <laughs> no, seriously, it was a, a game video. It, it was a dream about video games. It wasn't a dirty dream. Intruder! I... I have no idea what I'm forgetting about, because I don't know who you are. Ah, you mean blue-haired girl. Ooh! I don't think if I've ever met her, I'd forget. Of 
What if my entire life was just completely disconnected from these two people? They just knocked me over the head, woke me up, started acting like we were in an anime, and I'm just expected to believe it because I don't have, you know, like amnesia or something, or, you know. Beep. Yeah, so close. So close, I don't remember a thing. Okay. No. That song was pretty catchy, actually. Inside the drawer are a bunch of games in a messy heap. I can't decide whether I want to sell or keep them. A bunch of my favorite manga are lined up on the bookshelf. There are some dirty magazines, too. My school uniform is hanging here. I don't want to go to school. It's a pain in the ass. Inside the trash can lies my soul, which is nothing. I offer my save point services throughout the nation. Care to save? No. Yes. My skills are stubborn. Doesn't want to go to school. And I can soil myself. Her skills are hella mad, super strength, and she's good at cooking. Some tea is still in the teapot, leaking from being exposed to the air. One of Mom's precious stuffed animals. Mom's closet is like a black hole. I probably shouldn't open it. Unless I be transported to the world of Narnia. And this whole game becomes completely different. You know, I actually thought you were wearing an apron at first and you... <laughs> you were topless. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. Very awkward. Now I see the shirt, so it's okay. Why are you people always so obsessed with how many years we've been, and friendship, and childhood? The only thing that matters is who ate my cheesecake this morning. That's really, actually, very important. It's you. The person with boundary issues. No, it isn't me. Damn it, didn't work. I have no idea who you are. This is a really strong... I, I was about to say the word friendship, but I'm gonna go with obsession. Because they haven't seen each other since elementary school, which means they probably knew each other for about one or two years tops. Yeah, nostalgic. Too close. We barely know each other. No. 
No. No. No. It ain't happening. Cast if get to way of boundary if I think I need an adult. Because you're crazy? Crazy in love. That sounds great. Let's go meet him. Eh. And... Nietzsche and Vaka. Oh, I'm the pervert. What? Did, did you see what happened here? I, I... Life ain't fair. Onika's fist hits my cheek. I go flying in a comical fashion, and then I reach the stars. I see how it is. I'm not gonna apologize, no. No, wait, it's not my... Yes, I am. Because that's what happened. Okay, just, just dodge the situation. What she really means is she's only glad to see me because, you know, unhealthy um, relationships, obsession, puppy love, that jazz. She might murder you, actually. I'd start running. It took me all this time to realize they're red and blue. Kind of like the... the opposite thing going on here. Yeah, this pixelized town of four houses, one mall, and uh... one nice picnic table. Pinch a cheek to find out. You're gonna pinch me, aren't you? I think we're outside right now. Let's just hang out here. Says the snarky bastard. He'll probably be dying later in a bad end. Secret base. It's been upgraded. I recruited some more troops. There's nothing there anymore, except what was left of my heart in childhood.
things are actually going pretty well for us. Um, it's... No trace of crazy quite yet. I'm a little bit there, but I'm gonna be optimistic and say that's just over-eagerness and not the signs of something a lot worse. So where are we going? West? Okay. This way, right? Kinda looks like I'm riding on a unicycle. I made a few secret bases in my time. Never lasted more than about two days. I wasn't joking when I said my childhood was buried here. <laughs> uh, very, very literal. No, those are mine. I'm a very sentimental person. You know, good childhood, etc. Running gag. Told you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, so I'm not a natural blonde? Does that mean you people dyed your hair red and blue, or... Is this blonde not a natural color and yours are? Yeah, it is. Oh! <laughs> this is such... This is such a dangerous part of my life. When they come back and read my history books, they'll point to this one moment right here and say, This is the moment where his life was decided. Okay. We're gonna try to do something crazy. We're gonna try to end up with none of the girls. This is so, so melodramatic. Right now, I'm imagining my main character just kind of zoning out. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did that. I remember that, yeah, that. I don't remember a thing. Whew, finally.
Oh, I had gray hair. Gray. The sun was beating down on us. After school, the three of us would walk home together. We would always wander around a bit before going home. The strong-willed Honoka and the meek Hinata. Together, we built our secret base and had fun. Every day we would play until the sun went down. When I went back home, Mom would have dinner ready and waiting for me. That's how the days went by. Also, check out our whole color matching backpacks. They're totally cash. Our unforgettable summer days. But Hinata changed schools, and our happy days came to an end. Even when I played with Honoka, it felt like something was missing. Eventually, I stopped walking home with Honoka. I didn't play with her very much. I spoke with her less and less as well. I hold myself up in my room. Honoka and I became more and more distant. I had realized only too late that the only thing that kept us together was Hinata. Hinata had left for her Tokyo. Because it was a cooler city. But now... Being shoulder to shoulder with the two of them again gives me a strange feeling. We've all gotten a bit older, but... It's almost as if we were able to return to those summer days. That's what it feels like. I'm so gonna die.